Hey Pixels, in this week's tutorial, we're going to design a design agency website hero in Adobe XD. This website hero will have two different color themes because I couldn't choose one. I loved how they both looked. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you'll be first to know when a new video drops. Hope you did it. Now, let's jump right into the tutorial. First, we're going to open a new document in Adobe XD that's 1280 by 800 pixels. We'll also enable the layout grid that's 12 columns with a gutter width of 16 and margin that's 138 pixels. Now that we've set up the artboard, let's design an agency website hero. First, let's draw a purple borderless rectangle that's 1280 by 80 pixels. We'll add the website logo to the left hand side and then we'll design a menu on the right hand side. To create the menu button, we'll first draw an orange borderless rectangle. Then we'll write the word menu on top applying the menu character style. Finally, we'll add a hamburger menu icon by drawing a rectangle that's 24 by 24 pixels, and then we'll use the icons for design plugin in XD and select an icon. Be sure to update the icon color to match the menu text color. Lastly, we'll group the text and icon together by hitting Command or Control G on the keyboard. Then, we'll group the entire button. In the layout panel, we'll add padding 24 pixels all around. Now, let's design the fun part, the hero section for our design agency website. First, we'll draw a borderless rectangle that's 1280 by 720 pixels. I created a trendy 3D illustration that I'll use for the hero image. So I'll grab the image from my computer folder and then drag and drop the image onto the rectangle object. I'll double click into the frame and adjust the position of the image until I'm satisfied with how it looks. Don't worry, there is a video tutorial on how you can create this exact 3 illustration in Adobe Dimension. I'll leave a link to this video in the video description below. Now that we have this trendy 3D illustration, we can add some hero text to the left hand side of our hero section. First, we'll write an eye-catching headline that represents our design agency and apply the heading character style. Below, we'll write a subheading that says Design Branding Strategy and apply the subheading character style. To give it some pizzazz, we'll draw a decorative orange line that's 4 pixels thick and 70 pixels in width beside the subheading. Thank you. 
Now we'll group all of this content and make sure it's horizontally aligned to the center of the section. Last but not least, we'll add a learn more text near the bottom of the section to encourage users to scroll down to see more content on the website. We'll draw a square that's 16 by 16 pixels and we'll use the icons for design plugin to get a down arrow icon. Really quickly, I just wanted to show you an alternative color theme for our website. By simply changing the colors around, we can change the mood of the entire website. This really shows just how much colors can impact your design. I'm so excited to see what you create based on this tutorial. Tag me on social media at ExcelPixel and share your designs with me. So this is how you create a design agency website hero in Adobe XD using a trendy 3D illustration. As always, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Subscribe to Excel Pixel for more creative tutorials on design, code, and tech. I'll see you in the next video.